graphing quadratic equations. Here we have a quadratic equation, x squared plus 6x plus 5 equals y. You have to remember that that's 1. So we have to figure out what the coefficients are. a equals 1, b equals 6, c equals 5. Now we can use the front end of the quadratic formula to find the line of symmetry, which is the first half of the vertex. So x equals negative b over 2a. In this case, that's negative 6 over 2 times 1, which is negative 3. So x equals negative 3 is the line of symmetry and it's half the vertex. So the line of symmetry would be over here somewhere. Now we're going to find a few points to plot. X, Y. We're going to start with the vertex or line of symmetry and put that in the middle. So we know the equation is x squared plus 6 times x plus 5. That's x, that's x, which is going to be negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9. 6 times negative 3 is negative 18 plus 5. 9 plus negative 18 is negative 9. Negative 9 plus 5 is negative 4. Now we're going to pick a few other points. Negative 4, negative 5, negative 2, negative 1. Since this shape is symmetric, we know that these two pairs those answers will be the same. And for these two pairs, those two answers will be the same, which cuts our work in half. We only have to find one of them, and then the other one comes along for free. And the principle that smaller numbers are easier to work with, I'm going to do these two, and then these two answers will come along for free. So this is x squared plus 6x plus 5. So that's negative 2 squared, negative 2. So that's 4 plus negative 12 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3, and negative 3. And negative 1, negative 1 squared plus 6 times negative 1 plus 5. 1 plus negative 6 is negative 5 plus 5 is 0, and that's going to be 0. So zoom in on this for a second, so you can see what I did. All right, now it's time to graph these things. Negative 5, 0. It's negative 5, 0. Negative 4, negative 3, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, 2, 3. Negative 3, negative 4, negative 1, 2, 3, negative 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's enough for me to sketch that first graph. If we continue, I'm going to bet that this side's got to look pretty much the same because it's symmetric. So, negative 2, negative 3, negative 2, negative 3, negative 1, 0, negative 1, 0, and it is. And we sketch the graph of the quadratic equation. Notice that the vertex is at negative 3, negative 4. And the vertex was the first point we found.
We're going to do another one in just a moment. All right, here's our second example. And once again, the coefficient of the squared term is 1. So we have a equals 1, b equals 6, c equals 9. So when it's time to find the vertex, we start by finding the line of symmetry, which is half the vertex. X, x equals negative b over 2a. In this case, that's negative 6 over 2 times 1, which is negative 3. So once again, the line of symmetry happens to be at negative 3. Not that it's always at negative 3, just is on the two examples I happen to have picked. So x equals negative 3. Now we need to find some more points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 points. We're going to start with negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, negative 4, negative 5. And if you remember the equation, it's x squared plus 6x, that's a 6, plus 9. When x is negative 3, negative 3 squared is 9, plus negative 18 is negative 9, plus 9 is 0. Negative 2, it's negative 2 squared, plus 6 times negative 2, plus 9, that gives us 4, plus negative 12 is negative 8, negative 8 plus 9 is 1, and that's going to be 1, because I know those two have to match. So next I'm going to do 1, negative 1, I'm sorry, negative 1 squared plus 6 times negative 1 plus 9. 1 plus negative 6 is negative 5, negative 5 plus 9 is 4, and I know those two match. So this is 4, and I'm going to add one more point. I'm going to do 0 because it's so easy. 0 squared plus 6 times 0 plus 9. So 0 plus 0 plus 9 is 9. Now that I've got some points, let's see if I can graph these and see what it looks like. Negative 5, 4. Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 4, 1. Negative 3, 0. Negative 2, 1. Something's wrong here. What did I do wrong? 1. No. Negative 1, 4. That's not wrong. Negative 1, 4. And 0, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9 would be somewhere up there as an estimate. So, oops, that's not a very neat job. Looks roughly like that. If you have questions, don't hesitate to come in and ask me.